I'm here today uh, alongside my colleague Seon to basically respond to the exhibition that's on now. The transition from the different styles of drawing and the focus of the drawing from very figurative um, sort of traditional drawing to all the way around to like a, a very abstract way of drawing. It really brought home some of the things for me um, in my arts education and some of the things that I I did do and some of the things I avoided and uh, it was quite uh, a good experience for me to really um, look at this study of drawing from people that have come from a similar journey but very different time period and with different outcomes. Even amongst um, ourselves, myself and Seon, our drawing styles are so so different but but there's still some level of uh, a constant in the drawings and I feel like tapping into that was very key in terms of how I personally was approaching the my experience in the show. What I did at the residency was I was directly responding to the master's work. Um, it's also known as master copy in drawing classes. That is very traditional way of learning drawing. You're quite literally um, copying the marks of the masters. And when you do that, it's just actually the fastest way to get better in drawing. But today I thought I will just have my own take on it. Um, I really enjoy Leon Underwood's drawing, how fun it is. It may not be anatomically correct, but just the liberty and how intuitive the mark making is. And I, it's quite similar to how I work. This residency was sort of an, an opportunity to really do something living. And I feel like the concept of the living is something that is very strong in my studio. I felt like having people around and being able to interact with them further continues that, um, that sense of the living that is necessary for um, spaces like this and can be done um, within spaces like this. It, it felt like being at art school again, like everybody, people would walk into your studio all the time anyway. So um, it was quite nice to be able to talk to people about different things and find out about the variation of people that come to museum spaces. There was this little boy, he wanted to contribute his drawing and as soon as I saw it, I wanted to make a master copy out of that drawing and really just questions the authority of who made the drawing. So I made the master copy of the masters, but also like of a um, seven-year-old boy and they were equally fun experience. So I had so much fun just twisting this master drawing into my own and still I feel like I was tracing their path, tracing literally their mark making with my charcoal and that was a very fun experience. I think that looking at how the transition from the time periods from when the show starts to my sort of generation of artists now and my contemporaries should I say, um, I feel like for us it's quite interesting because, for instance, at that time they were very much taught these traditions in terms of how to draw and how to use mark making. They didn't, um, they weren't allowed to touch oil paintings without drawing for two years. And the difference in that is that for my generation we sort of have, there's a thing of, you have to th figure things out in terms of you're not taught per se how to paint or draw, you're more so taught to think about the decisions made within your drawings and your artworks and um, the differences are I just find interesting. I don't think either is better or worse. Some young artists now could choose anyone from art history to be their quote unquote like master um, and through doing artist studies you can't literally talk to them in terms of um, verbally but your works and your, through your mark making, there's a conversation that ha can be had. 